Hi everyone, wishing all of you a very happy Ugadi. May this new year bring a lot of success, prosperity and good health to each one of you. Right. So let's start with today's analysis. So we'll first look at the Nifty, then the mid cap and then the small cap chart and also go to the data what exactly it is pointing at. So the Nifty it kind of opened higher but then almost closed at the day's low. Right. So it closed somewhere around 22, 642. Right. So this breakout that we had after that, there was a retest and after which we started moving higher. Right. So today might be because of uh, not many people were actively trading because it's a holiday, especially for uh, the southern states. Right. So because of it, even uh, Maharashtra celebrates um, this festival, probably most of the traders were kind of taking the day off. Right. So that was nifty. Probably it can again do a retest of this or can move higher from tomorrow. It depends on how the uh, trading activity would be from tomorrow. Pro my uh, thinking is probably today was a day off for most of them. That is why we kind of saw uh, a little selling in the second half and then it started to fall. So same thing happened with the mid cap index as well. So the mid cap index high chances it can come down like hardly one one and a half percent to retest this before going back up again. Right. The small cap index like we were in yesterday's video I was pointing at how 16 565 would play a resistance. So today also it kind of touched exactly there and then it came down. So the small cap index was the only index that kind of ended in the green today amongst the three the metals did pretty well so if you look at the metals uh, the metals continued moving higher so except for the metal index uh, nothing really in this particular segment one more was the real real estate sector so the reality sector it kind of tried moving higher but then it closed lower than the opening that it had right so now looking at the data the data is quite low today so like i was telling you probably because of the festival not many people were active because of which we are seeing that the data is also kind of low so two two things will happen here one is the data continues being low for the coming uh, sessions so in that case probably if you look at the small cap index probably it can do a double top as well right so that is scenario number one wherein you don't get great accumulation there is no follow through buying so whatever rally we had we have had that gets sold into right some distribution will pop in and then we will see this kind of coming down so that is scenario number one scenario number two is we have a small pullback because it has been just one way rally right so almost close to like 15 16 percent rally from the lows that we hit in mid of march so after this what can happen is there might be a some retracement right because people would want to book profits also so that can come in wherein you would not have great accumulation uh, during such phases wherein the pullback takes place once that pullback is done then accumulation again comes back so if i have to draw this particular thing so after this continuous rally something like this right and then we again around these levels you might see very good accumulation and then we move higher so this is scenario number two so either one of them is going to happen right so either we are going to have a small correction and move higher right that is one case another case is distribution happening from these levels we make a double top on the small cap index we continuously fall there is also possibility that after these two red candles we can just continue moving higher that is also scenario number three wherein from tomorrow again the data kind of uh, comes in above this 50 range probably around that 70 80 mark and we just continue moving higher after these two dull days so that is also a possibility right so only the data will kind of tell us today just one day of low uh, accumulation we would not really be uh, panicking as of now we'll look at how the data is tomorrow and then take a call right so probably you can keep your stop loss uh, trail your stop losses and then be ready for what is going to come right hopefully this helps thank you